I think clearly we're pushing the limits of surfing. We're trying to find the biggest waves and put ourselves right in the spot. It catches people's eyes. It's interesting, like, who are these guys and why are they risking their lives to do that? Work for me is get up in the morning, get on the Muni train, go downtown, and go up onto the sixth floor of, a, of an office building and uh, jump into my office chair and sit in front of my office computer. And I'm trying to just focus on work, and it, it can be really hard sometimes. My mind's racing, thinking about all these different details when you go out and approach big waves. So it's a tough balance. Unfortunately, we all sort of have to strike that balance of working and playing. When I went and looked at Mavericks for the first time, I was like, no way. I don't want any part of that. I saw guys wiping out and all of you know boards breaking. Then um, a couple years later I realized like I do want that challenge. I want that ultimate challenge of the biggest wave, you know, the biggest wave I can find. been, I don't know, 15 years since I started serving Maverick, so it kind of gets more and more comfortable with it, but I think I also understand the power of Mavericks. You have to respect it and not put yourself in too much of harm's way out there. A lot of times Mavericks will grab you and shake you, and it feels like someone's kind of punching you in every direction. Some of the worst beatings I've had, it probably felt similar to like a motorcycle accident. All you see is the, the bike sort of goes one direction, the guy goes the other direction, and you just see arms and legs tumbling around. As far as being around like heavy ocean risk and big waves, I think part of that desire came out of doing a lot of different contact sports and just kind of liking that sort of rough and tough thing that surfing doesn't really have unless you start throwing yourself in the big surf. And when you do that, I swear I, I keep thinking back to those days when I was out on the rugby field and having you know, guys chase you down. I enjoy getting scared. The adrenaline of the occasional wipeout and getting stuck in certain situations. I get scared like everybody else, but I also just, I just kind of deal with it. <laughs> The 2010 Mavericks contest, I had a few problems right before the contest. A bruised rib situation. The first heat, I did really well, but I had a lot of pain and I was not feeling well. So after that first heat, I sat on a jet ski, I threw up, I was shaking. So when I jumped on my board and piled out to the semifinals, I just I had no strength. I was like, I don't know how long I can, I can do this for. And I saw a wave, a uh, set coming, and I just piled over into position. And I was just like, I'm going. I just committed to it way early. And I just put my head down, piled as hard as I could. I try not to focus on the size of the wave when, I, when I'm going for them. I just, I just see it and just try and go. I always realize, looking back, like, that was a big wave. I've been working now for about 20 years in environmental consulting. You know, a lot of my work's about the environment and making things clean, you know, cleaner than they were. So I enjoy that part of it. Ah, it's a lot of water. I think if we divert it like to away from the current gully, you're just gonna get another gully. At first it evolved right out of college as a field job and I was outside all the time. And I liked it. Pretty mucky, huh? As my career's rolled on, I've been put in the office a lot more. It is hard because I am working so much. When I'm at my desk, you know, I click on Surfline and I see the boys you know, charging some big session. And I know every surfer goes through this sort of like FOMO phase, like they want to be there, they can't. 
This year, actually, I kind of negotiated something with my boss so that I could take some time off and work a 30-hour schedule instead of a 40-hour week schedule. I took a pay cut so I could surf more, but it's worth it. It's a really hard uh, when you're and you're out surfing, especially like in this time of year, you get so much adrenaline going from not only being out in the water, but the days leading up, you know, seeing the forecast, knowing what's coming and the anticipation, and then trying to walk into an office. I find it really hard to focus on some of those days and it's, it can be almost debilitating <laughs> at work. I think I've made a lot of sacrifices in my life. I think one of the biggest sacrifices that I keep thinking about more recently is the fact that you know, I haven't settled down and I don't have children. I've never been married before. I need to kind of focus on where am I headed in terms of do I want a family because not having a family and not having to take care of children has allowed me the ability to surf and chase big waves and work hard when I'm not doing that. Do I get bored out of Mavericks? No. Every time I go out there, to me, is special. Looking back at the mountains and the rocks, it's just, it's beautiful, it's amazing. It's when I can just clear my mind and not think about work and not think about, you know, all the stresses that life brings us. It all just goes away when I pile out out there.